People of the internet, Retro here, and today we have some very unfortunate news regarding Harry Potter Magic Awaken, a game that, honestly, surprisingly, uh, was very near and dear to my heart. I have enjoyed playing this game immensely over the past year. However, on Monday, WB Games announced the official shutdown of Harry Potter Magic Awaken in the Americas, Europe, and Oceania, with the servers set to close on October 29th. This is barely even a year removed from the global launch of the game back in June of 2023. Not only that, the game was removed from both the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store effective immediately. The very same day that this announcement went out back on August the 26th, that is also the same day that you could no longer download this game at all. It immediately went out of those app stores. So if you heard this news and were we're looking to play the game a bit more before it shuts down, you need to already have it on your device because if you've actually deleted it, there is no chance to re-download it again. And for the people who really loved this game, who were really passionate about this game, it hurts, man. It hurts. In-app purchases have also been immediately disabled, but at the same time, no refunds will be given for any items already purchased. That also holds true for any in-game currency that you've been hanging on to. WB has set up an FAQ page, which I'll be sure to link to in the video description below. And there it says players can still use their in-game currency to, <laughs> I, I, I can't even say this with a straight face, man. Use your in-game currency to buy items in the game. A game that's shutting down in two months. Even if you use your currency on something in-game now, it's all going away on October 29th anyway. Now, I can't verify this myself as I've never tried to process a refund on any of these app stores, but I've heard some people having success at attempting to get refunds through something like the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. It's going to be different based on where you're at and which app store you downloaded it from, so be sure and check. It also probably matters how recently you bought and spent the money on the in-game currency, but I would definitely at least double check, especially in light of this news. Now, what's really strange and hard for a lot of fans to understand, myself included, is the fact that the game will continue to operate in select territories in Asia and North Africa. Now, I don't pretend to know all of the business dynamics here. What I do know is that there were essentially two versions of this game, and you had two major players involved here. You had WB Games, and then you also had NetEase. NetEase publishes a version of the game in those Asian territories and the North African territories, whereas WB Games published in those other territories, the territories that are now closing. So if you're hoping you can just set things up on one of those servers and keep playing there, the FAQ seems to rule out that possibility entirely with a very blunt answer of, quote, no, server transfers will not be possible, close quote. The FAQ also confirms all social media accounts as well as the official Discord community will be shutting down effective October 29th. So for all intents and purposes, in these territories, the game is essentially being wiped from the map. Now, before we go any further, I want to be fully transparent with anyone listening to this. You guys, the fans who played this game, as well as anyone who may work at WB or NetEase. Full disclosure here, I was part of the Magic Awaken Ambassador Program. This is not a role that I received any compensation for, nor was I ever paid to promote Harry Potter Magic Awaken by anyone at WB or NetEase. They did give us like this little in-game welcome pack when I first joined up. It had, I think, some gold and a few keys as well. For anyone who hasn't played the game, these are both currencies that you could earn by simply playing the game, and they did not require any real money to purchase. Also, I want to be totally clear here. My opinions in this video do not reflect that of WB or the Ambassador team. What I can say is that my heart definitely goes out to those marketing folks who were working on on this game, the folks that I worked with, I want to thank you for letting me be part of the ambassador team. I honestly don't know if they still have jobs or not, if they're still employed. I hope they do. They were always very polite with me, very cordial with me, and it seemed like they truly wanted the game to succeed, but a lot of times it felt like there were many things outside of their control, which I'm sure is 100% the case when you have so many parties involved in a game like this. So with all those caveats out of the way, I just want to say to you guys, the fans, I am personally very disappointed to see this happen with Magic Awaken. At the same time, I'm really not surprised. Me being someone who has a channel that for a while has been dedicated to Wizarding World content, specifically the video games, I could see the writing on the wall with this game for a while. I mean, honestly, dating all the way back to the reveal of the game, there was just something that never quite felt right with this global launch. And who knows, it could all be a big miscommunication. There were a lot of territories, there are a lot of cultural differences here. This was a game that was developed primarily for an Eastern audience. Then they were also trying to make it work here in the West. So I'm sure that there were a number of issues involved in all that. And so I wanna be you know, totally fair to those people and acknowledge that. But I will say from my standpoint, 
point here in the United States, I just don't feel like this game was ever really given a chance. Admittedly, selling an MMO card-based combat game to a Western audience, it was definitely an uphill battle from the start. But I'm actually a perfect example of this right here because when I first heard about it and saw what it was, I thought, sure, I'll give it a try, but I don't see this being a game that I'm really gonna spend a lot of time with. That couldn't have been further from the truth. I absolutely loved playing Harry Potter Magic Awakens, and spent so much time with it, particularly the dueling. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if I have more time dueling in Harry Potter Magic Awaken than I do all of my time in Hogwarts Legacy. Now, that's not to say it's a better game. It's just saying that I really was spending a lot of quality time playing this game, even off stream, even when I wasn't making content. But you look, we actually stopped making content specifically about Magic Awaken a while back, mainly because I could see that the audience just wasn't there for this game. Even me, a channel that is primarily focused around the audience of Wizarding World fans, the interest in this game just wasn't there like it was with Hogwarts Legacy. They weren't able to tap into that mainstream Harry Potter audience like Hogwarts Legacy did so well. And to be fair, they've really been struggling to do that for a while now. And I also want to give a special shout out and thank you to the people in my community who enjoyed this game alongside me. We played the game together. We had some amazing times teaming up for duels grinding out those social club rewards, man. And that part, I'm sad to see that go. And honestly, one of the saddest parts is that that actually started to die down even before they officially announced the closure of the game for, I'm sure, a number of different reasons. And I'll be totally honest with you guys. I hope that Quidditch Champions comes out and that it's a fantastic game and that it does incredibly well and it's supported for years to come, but I can already see some of the same signs there. And honestly, I don't know what to think about all this. There is so much changing in this industry right now. I mean, if you look at our most recent video where we talked about WB looking to license out the Harry Potter IP to other publishers, other developers. Meanwhile, everything with Avalanche Software points to them working on another Hogwarts Legacy game. Then you have Quidditch Champions right around the corner. I mean, back to Hogwarts Day is this Sunday. There's rumors of this Hogwarts Legacy director's cut. I've also seen more rumors starting to swirl about a possible Lego Harry Potter remake. But all of that ignores the specific issue here with Magic Awaken, which I just, again, say I don't think it ever truly had a chance to succeed here. And there will be plenty of time for us in the days, weeks, and years to come to talk about and figure out exactly what went wrong with this game. But what truly saddens me the most is that at its core, there was a really, really good game here. I mean, the dueling, again, this is coming from someone who heard card combat and was thinking, absolutely not. I'm not going to spend much time with this game. And I ended up spending so much time playing it. Truthfully, I also think that there were a number of Potter fans who never gave the game a chance because number one, it relied heavily on microtransactions. And number two, it was only on mobile. This is even though NetEase developed a PC client that runs on those Asian servers but that same PC version never made it out here. The monetization strategy was just not a good one for Western audiences, again, in my opinion. Not having that PC version ready to go here day one was another big mistake. Not having that big marketing push, not having ads running for this game, not actively involving the community right from the beginning, a Harry Potter community, which we know how powerful this community can be. We know how strong this community can be when you speak directly to those people. I mean, we've said it time and time and time again. Look what Avalanche Software did and how they interacted with the fans, how they listened to fans and delivered an absolutely incredible Harry Potter experience that they were also heavily rewarded for with an incredible number of sales. I mean, I'm still seeing that game pop up on sales charts. And the other interesting part in all of this is that WB executives have actually commented about wanting more live service titles, even specifically mentioning Harry Potter and more live service titles. And yet here we have another example of one not working out and getting outright canceled here. Now, I don't know if this is the last video I'm going to make on Magic Awake, and this is all still very fresh to me. And honestly, with it being a game that I was still routinely playing, I'm not quite ready to say goodbye to it, man, just to be 100% honest with you guys. And at least we do have these two months left. I still have it installed on my computer through a Android emulator that I've been using to play the game. So I actually have been able to play it on PC all this time. So I'm definitely going to be planning some things to kind of say goodbye to Harry Potter Magic Awaken and for us to have some final duels. And you know, I think the saddest part in all of this is that the stories here in this game will be forever lost. I mean, at least the NetEase version is going to be going for a while. But again, even with that one, who knows how long it will continue. And because of the game being built the way it is, it's not something like Mario that I can just pop back into my original Nintendo and still play and experience. So I'm hoping between now and that time when everything closes down in October that I'm going to have some time to actually 
record full Let's Plays going through all those stories because I want those stories to somehow be preserved. And if it can't be in gameplay form for others to experience, then at least we can do it in the form of a YouTube video. Over the past few weeks, I've actually been posting regularly over to our Let's Play channel. So if you didn't know about that one, check it out there on the left side of your screen now. And now guys, I wanna hear from you. How are you feeling about this? Did you ever give Magic Awakened a chance? Were you somebody who's been playing it every day and are super disappointed by this news? And honestly, how does this make you feel about the future of Harry Potter video games. As always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.